wanted to show all girls that their value and potential is infinite. We clear a woman's way. We don't fear the day she steps into the light because we are with her. Because we are with her every step of that fight. Women have a special opportunity to live the revolution. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down, all alone. These women, together, ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And the men better let them. Welcome to Coover TV. And please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Three of America's youngest self-made women are new to the ranking this year. That includes this year's second youngest self-made woman, 27-year-old Lucy Guo, who co-founded artificial intelligence firm Scale AI and held on to a stake after she left. The firm is now valued at $7.3 billion. Also new to the list is Rachel Drury, who founded plant-based frozen meal delivery company Daily Harvest and is 39 years old. She debuts after investors valued her company at $1.1 billion late last year. In late June, Daily Harvest recalled their French lentil and leek crumbles due to consumer reports of gastrointestinal illness and potential liver function issues. Emma Greed, CEO of fashion brand Good American and founding partner and chief product officer of Kim Kardashian shapewear firm Skims, is also 39. She joins the list at number 77 and is the second youngest black woman on the list with an estimated $360 million fortune. Another of the youngest, Barbados's first billionaire, 34-year-old Rihanna whose 50% stake in makeup line Fenty Beauty makes her, along with Greed, one of two black women under 40 to make the list. She comes in at number 21 with a $1.4 billion fortune. She's the only woman under 40 on the list who's a billionaire and is the youngest self-made billionaire in America. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. How long is your nap? 20 minutes. And sometimes we'll end up napping for a couple hours. A midday nap can boost memory, improve job performance, lift your mood, make you more alert and ease stress. But that's not all. The Cleveland Clinic reports naps can speed up your reaction time and improve your logical reasoning, motor skills, sense perception and verbal recall. Sleep is the VIP service everybody needs. It affects basically every area of our life. A nap can even help your ticker. According to a recent study, power nappers who took a 15 to 20 minute nap three times a week improved their cardiovascular health. On the downside, those who nap more than an hour had an increased risk of heart problems. But what's the perfect length? The National Sleep Foundation suggests the best time to nap is before 2 p.m. for about 20 minutes but a nap as short as 10 minutes can be beneficial. But keep your nap to 30 minutes or less, or you may suffer from sleep inertia, which will have you waking up and feeling groggy instead of rested. I'm Leslie Hudson reporting. We at Cougar TV want to make sure that you're not skipping. Students, you only have nine weeks left of school. If you're an eighth grader, you have seven weeks left. Here, listen to testimony of some students who were caught, uh, caught skipping. Administration now knows where they've been hiding. Their names and their voices have been changed for privacy reasons. All right, uh, what's the best place to skip? How about you? Move your shirt. What? Help me. 
Help me! Cougars, stay in your class, especially during period six. No passes. Cougars, this Thursday, do not bring your book bags. Again, this Thursday, do not bring your book bags. Your grades will almost all have been turned in, so you do not need a book bag for this Thursday. In regards to not having up-to-date vaccinations, a parent letter has been sent out. Any students out of compliance will not be allowed to return to Congress Middle School on March the 27th, which is the day after spring break, until the requirement has been fulfilled in getting their proper shots. If you have any questions, please see Dr. Thompson, email kareem.thompson at palmbeachschools.org, phone number 561-374-5601. Cougars, please make sure you get your shots all up so that you can come and finish up the last semester, last quarter of the second semester.